Hello friends, today we are going to try up to plot a 3D graph of the XRD data. So here you can see a 2D graph of an XRD data of 4 samples and usually we know that we have uh, intensities on the Y axis and we have the angles on the X axis in the XRD. So I wanted to see why not we draw a 3D plot for the XRD and compare it to this 2D graph and how it looks. Uh, so for this reason, uh, what I did, I had the data of this graph on the workbook, book 1 here. You see that we have on the x-axis, we have the angles and we have the intensities of the first samples. Then we have the angles of the second sample and intensities of the second sample. And similarly, the angles for the third samples and intensities and angles for the fourth sample and intensities. So here I will go, I will be using only the data for the three samples, this one, this one, and this one. So in normal 2D graph, we have we require the x-axis and the y-axis. But if we want to make a 3D graph of the same data, we will require an x, y, and also the z-axis of the sample. So what I did, I transformed this data into this one. Here you see we have again the angles of the data of the samples and we have the intensities but I copied the intensities that is the y-axis or the z-axis of z column of the workbook and we have the y-axis on which uh, because I do not have a third parameter data what I did is that I write down the one on the whole column in the y-axis and that represents the sample number one actually and similarly for the sample number two I also write down the two for the y-axis in the second axis I write down the two in the whole column and this is the intensities of the second sample and then for the third sample also I have the angles on the x-axis on the y column I wrote down three in the whole column and then on the z-axis I have the intensities. So the data is same but I just added another axis, uh, another column, the y column and I write down uh, any digit on this uh, whole column. So I also tried to write down the name of the sample uh, but it didn't work and it did not plot. So the thing is that we always need to write down a numerical value uh, in this column in order to plot a 3D graph. So uh, the next important thing is that you should always set the labels of the columns. That is, this one has to be set as set as x-axis, this one as set as y-axis, and this one as set as the z-axis. And similarly, we also have to set x, y, z for the second sample and x, y, z for the third sample. Now, the third step is that we select all the columns and again, we go to the plot. And here I go down down to 3D XYZ XYZ and here I select the 3D scatter option now we have a 3D plot but it's so messy I don't I can't see the lines so what uh, what next we can do we can transform these squares into the plain lines so by right clicking on it I go to plot details and uh, here the symbol size I want it to be zero so I make it zero and I want a line instead so I show the line and increase the thickness of the line and let it be red so I apply well it's changed to line format now I also want to change the these two graphs so okay and this one I also click on the plot details then again the symbol I need to make it zero and the line I need to increase the thickness of the line and I change the color to I think the blue and apply okay now the third line this on the black one plot details and I make the symbol zero and the line I change the thickness to 4 and what should be the color I think magenta and I apply it okay now we have a very nice 3d plot here and also I can format its 
uh, access to make it more legible here you can see experiment is written i can write it down as the samples because this represents actually the sample number so you can also increase the size my ideal size is 36 this one and also this one the x-axis is the angles and you can increase the size this one is 36 and this one is the intensity so we write it here intensity now this looks pretty good i think also i need to change the size of these labels so i increase it so that it is more legible and clear again here as well you see 36 and here as well 36 now i also want to make these uh, plots to be uh, near with uh, closer to the uh, axis to this axis because this space is empty and it doesn't look good so what can i do i i change the scale go to the scale and this is starting from minus 0 0.1 so maybe i can make it like 0. Uh, 0.8 maybe and you can also increase the limit that is 3 we can set it to 3.8 maybe and maybe it looks good yeah right it looks good now that's great and also if you want to label what sample is this one we can add the legend and this is the legend and of course you can change the name of the C, F and the other one as sample 1, sample 2 and sample 3. So here is a very nice and beautiful 3D graph of the XRD and you can see it is very clear and very legible and beautiful as compared to the 2D graph. Let's see the 2D graph again. We have here this is the 2D graph and you see there are small peaks as well which are not clear in this graph but when we transformed it into a 3D graph you can see the peaks are quite clear and, and the comparison is quite easy. So that's a great thing. I think I, I, I will choose to draw a 3D graph from now onwards for the XRD as well. So that's it for today. Thank you.